Hi I'm Geodav and in this set of videos what I'm going to try and do while I learn Blender myself is to show some of the I won't say drawbacks but things that you're going to have to take into account while using Blender for making content for the Unreal Development Kit. Now I've been watching people struggle with Blender over the last two years since we've had the UDK so I thought it was about time that we've done some Pacific videos to get used people up and running and also to try and teach myself this I won't say quirky but a different way of doing things within the Blender system. Now for this video what I'm going to be doing is one of the main things that people have had problems with and that is purely to do with the size of things. Now to show you what I mean what I'm going to do is make a cube, UV, give it a quick UV map, a quick texture, import it into UDK and then you'll have a oh that simple and I'll show you exactly what I'm on about so just bear with me go with the flow and we'll see how quick we can get this done so the first thing we're gonna do is very simple new doesn't change we've just got the the basic startup blender cube now one of my pets hates with blender is hotkeys I've mentioned this before but we're gonna have to live with it and the first thing we're going to do is hit N for November and this opens up the uh, well, the object property window. Now, first thing I'm going to do with this is lock it, lock the location in transform, lock the location, because I've got a nasty habit because I'm still not used to Blender of moving things while I try to rotate round the object. So the next thing we're going to look at is the dimensions. Now, when we export this cube, if we exported it at, with these dimensions here, e.g. 2 by 2 by 2 when you get it into UDK, it will still be 2 by 2 by 2 e.g. 2 Unreal units, which for UDK is very, very small. So what we're going to do is just change this to 64 64 and 64 now as you can see Blender has already don't like it now all the Blender videos I've seen is people working within this grid maybe that's the way Blender is set up but unfortunately it's not going to help us at all we're going to have to oh, I'm zooming out here scrolling out with my middle mouse button so we're going to have to go on these dimensions. This is what I have got to work so far. In the future, if I find a different way to do things, I'll let you know. But just for the basics, let's make a, bo a box, a cube, 64 by 64 by 64. All right, the next thing we, we have to do, obviously, to stop UDK complaining at us, is give it a UV map. So we go up here, into UV editing now as you can see it's gone all the way back into the normal perspective view zooming out so we get everything now to do the UV map on here very quickly go down here into edit mode now it's got already automatically all the faces selected if you don't want that hit A that deselects them all hit A again reselects them that's what we want we're just going to go for very very simple and here on the UV mapping click on unwrap unwrap again and now we've just got all the faces unwrapped onto the one <coughs> one area okay so what I've got to do now every time what I forget to do is we go back into defaults we move this bar over a little bit so we can get into the textures 
click on textures uh, going for the first texture what type we want an image go on to open and where did I put it it was in F Warhammer 40k blender basics so yeah I've been doing this before it's not the first time I've recorded this video but there we go right, we've got a nice green texture here so we go back into UV editing browse for an image get that scroll out now if we deselect that goes green but that doesn't don't worry about that because I forgot to do, deal with the materials but as a blender user you'll get used to that sort of thing I hope I hope I do as well alright so what do we do you go back into default go out of edit mode back into object mode so we've just got the object selected don't forget that the center pivot point for this object is at zero 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 now seeing that epic has decided to suspend uh, developing porting the actor X exporter for various other 3d appl applications and is now concentrating on supporting FBX that's what I'm going to try to use in all future videos okay it's going to take a lot more work but we'll have to live with it well first thing I'm going to do as everybody should do is just save it now as you can see here I've done I've been playing around trying to do a weapon uh, up go into basics uh, and what we want is to call this s underscore bc underscore box okay so save the blender file back in there right we're saved now let's go to export autodesk fbx click on that now automatically we get the same name as the blender file but as a fbx export that and it will come up with the object cube has scale of 32 32 32 which similarly has gone automatically with the dimensions armature def deformation will not work as expected apply scale to fix hmm I'll look at that in future but what we want now is to go into UDK uh, as you can see I've been playing here before I've set up my materials uh, into our BC content test go to import now again we've already go to wherever you've exported your FBX file now which one was it there it goes get that one open it to import go on to mesh and OK now obviously next thing we want to do is sort out the mesh now at the moment we've only got one UV channel we're going to do in or double UV channels in a later video I'm just trying to keep this as short as possible just put a basic six stop collision mesh on onto there just so you can see it there we go smashing now we go on to the get the material select that back into the st static mesh editor and apply the material okay smashing done save your package save the package now what we're going to do is take the very basic simple start up map that we've got going to grab our mesh which is now green and just plonk it in there now as you can see it's not very high right we can get rid of this and see if we can uh, centralize on this a little bit uh, here we go come on there we go <sighs> it's 
not playing the way I want to, but we'll get there eventually. Right. So at the moment it's half sunk in there. So what we're going to do is just put it so it's ground level. Nice and happy. Now, at the moment, if you remember in Blender, we had this set at 64, 64, 64. Now, if you weren't sort of like believing me what I was on about, what we'll get do is make a brush, a normal CSG br brush, so brush builder, right clicked on that just in case you didn't know. Alright, go into 64, 64, 64, build, close. Alright, now because our cursor was last pointed there, that's where it's put the builder brush. So we're just going to move that a little bit to the side. There we go. And CSG add. There, and you can see a little box has been made there. So, right, what we now do is build all. Now this can take a few minutes because yet again I forgot to turn off the uh, global illumination so we'll get swarm starting up and all sorts of other things let's see there we got st swarm starting up when you're testing take a tip from me go into your view well in fact stop build go on stop there we go, stopped. Go into view, world properties. Uh, light mass. Turn off, use global illumination. Because we're only just testing at the moment. Build all. This should now go faster. He said, hopefully. Let's just get that out of that. Here we go, doopy doopy doo. Right. So we're smashing, not done with production lights, don't need that. Quickly save it. Uh, I'm just going to overwrite one that I've done earlier. Yeah, yeah, save it. And playing game. Now I get a really wide screen and I can't see nothing. Now where's our boxes? Now that's if I'm very careful. That's the big box that comes standard on the map. Go wimbling over it. Now that's our green box. Right, if I just go around the other side. There we go. There's our green box. The one made in Blender. And there's the box that we just made in UDK. Both being six, uh, 64 by 64 by 64 now you see why I'm, I go on about getting your dimensions correct in Blender. Now just as a little tip on this, let's see if I've got my uh, behind view, there we go, and there we see Mr. Cathode pointing, so you can get a, a little idea of the scale that we're looking for, the dimensions. So if you're going to do a weapon Alright, you're going to be looking at, ooh, I'd say, I'd say at least 32 blender units long, minimum. Might be somewhere to start off with. Okay, now that's all I was wanting to show on this video. And we'll go on to doing things like your second UV maps, uh, custom collisions, and then hopefully eventually on to things like weapons and vehicles and at the very end possibly characters okay now don't hold your breath on this because it could take me quite a while to get it all sorted so hopefully i'll see you soon and we'll go for it okay then bye bye now